I know you guys can't see me behind the camera, but you cannot wipe the smile off my face. WrestleMania 37 Night 1 is officially concluded, and my oh my, what a WrestleMania. Um, kudos to Vince McMahon, the wrestlers, the production crew, just everybody who played a role in this year's, well, this first night of WrestleMania. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, with the positives, there do come the negatives. And, you know, we're not going to waste any time. We're going to get right to it. Uh, WrestleMania 37 actually started off with a weather delay. I know, like, the entire day there was, like, people talking about how there were thunderstorms coming into the Tampa Bay area. But they were able to get that situated. And, thankfully, God was like, even though he wanted to get his revenge on Vince McMahon, <laughs> um, he was like, fine, let me have... You can have your show and, you know, the, the show was able to continue like it was. Um, but, yeah, man, we started off with Vince McMahon coming out, welcome the superstars back, saying his famous line, welcome to WrestleMania. And, you know, you can't have it any other way, man. That was a great segment. You know, the WWE has booked some of the most ridiculous crap. I mean, just, man, just bad creative-wise. But despite all that, nonetheless, you know, just coming back, Fans being there, even if it's not full capacity, was awesome. So we kicked off tonight with the WWE Championship. Uh, Bobby Lashley versus Drew McIntyre. And man, oh man, I did not expect Lashley to win. I wanted Lashley to win. So I'm actually glad Lashley picking up the win here was awesome. This this was a really good opener. Having Drew McIntyre be the first person to come back, you know, makes sense considering that he wanted he wanted to be the first wrestler to, you know, to come out in front of fans. So kudos to them for doing that. But there's a slight little nitpick. And it was near the end of the match. MVP was screaming at Drew McIntyre. And Drew McIntyre, being the veteran that he is, being the two-time WWE champion that he is, you would think that shit like this would get him in trouble. And yet he goes to MVP and he actually gets distracted, and he and that's how he loses the match. Like I didn't like that ending. I didn't like Drew getting distracted. He shouldn't have gotten distracted by that. But nonetheless, Bobby Lashley is still the WWE champion. And who knows, man? Maybe maybe we might get Lashley and uh, Lesnar in the future, man. Because that, that's another big dream match we all want to see. Okay, so we had the tag team turmoil match. Natalia and Tamina versus the Rod Squad. Honestly, from a match standpoint, and and this is my honest opinion, this was, to me, this was the second worst match of the night. Well, it wasn't the, okay, fuck it. This was the worst match of the night for me. I didn't really care for this match. I didn't care for the tag team turmoil. I don't really care about the tag team titles. Um, Natalia and Tamina won. I didn't, I was, okay. Honestly, I mean, good for them. They're, they're wrestling in front of fans. But to be honest, yeah. Um, but they will be facing Nia and Shayna. I really can care less. Nia and Shayna are probably going to retain the titles. And then we have what many people actually consider to be the match of the night. Cesaro versus Seth Rollins. Now, you have Seth Rollins. You have this man go from... Burn It Down to The Rising, which was a great theme song. Then he comes back. You have him go back to Burn It Down. Tonight, he comes out with a different theme song. It's like the WWE needs to make a decision. What theme song are you going to use? Are you going to use Burn It Down? Are you going to use The Rising, which I personally highly recommend? Or are you going to use this new theme song? Because this new theme song, it kind of sucks in my opinion. And that's just my opinion. But nonetheless, Cesaro defeats Rollins in what was an amazing match. Um, this is good for Cesaro. I think this gives more built for Cesaro, and this will elevate Cesaro more, you know, heading into Money in the Bank, which is confirmed to be the next pay-per-view after WrestleMania. Okay, AJ Styles and Omos versus The New Day for the Raw Tag Team Championships. Guys, this matchup was effing laughable. I could not stop laughing at almost. This dude was legit killing The New Day. Yes, legit hurting and just beating the F out of The New Day. His facial expressions, everything about almost was like funny. And in a good way. I'm not saying that almost was bad because almost actually looked good tonight. But I'm just saying like this, 
This matchup was okay, honestly. AJ is a Grand Slam champion, so congrats to him. Yeah, awesome match. Congrats. Well, not awesome, but meh match, to say the least. Braun Strowman versus Shane McMahon in the steel cage match. Obviously, the, the match that we didn't care for at all, that we didn't need. This is actually the first time that the steel cage is happening at Mania, I believe, since Mania 2 with King Kong Bundy and Hulk Hogan. I think that was the last time. But Strowman defeats Shane. Shane McMahon, guys. Oh, my goodness. That man took a nasty bump. Shane McMahon, guys, is 51 years old, and he's still taking bumps like that. Kudos to Shane, man. You you, you are my respect, man, because good God Almighty. Okay, the tag team match between Bad Bunny and Damian Priest versus The Miz and John Morrison. Wow, like, man, Bad Bunny, was he awesome in this match. Like, dude, Bad Bunny hit hard, harder than Mandy Rose <laughs> hit and slipped on the entrance ramp. Um, like, Bad Bunny was awesome, okay? And I, I know we're going to get this in the next few weeks. I know there's going to be, like, an argument on Twitter to see who's who was the best celebrity debut. Was it Bad Bunny or, or Pete D Not Pete Dunn, but uh, Pat McAfee. Um, I, I'm... Hey. But, but Bad Bunny, man, I'm telling you, man, he's earned my respect. I don't listen to his music. I don't. But th that man just showed, man, he could go. And the fact that he literally trained and it just it showed that he was really taking this seriously because not a lot of celebrities take this shit seriously. So kudos to him. He's he's earned my respect. And Damian Priest, awesome. Miz and Morrison, awesome. The main event, Bianca Belair versus Sasha Banks for the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship. This match was awesome. Um, great main event. I loved everything about it. Um, I was actually surprised Bianca won. That shocked me a little bit. But um, she won. And um, you can't ride it anywhere else. They made history tonight. Um, I still think they shouldn't have made it tonight, mainly due to the fact that this match had poor build. But despite the poor build, this match was awesome. It was phenomenal. And Bianca winning was awesome. And I'll say this too. This matchup was way better than the triple threat match that we got at WrestleMania 35. Like, uh, like no disrespect to Rousey, Charlotte, and Becky, but I enjoyed this match better than, than that match. So that's my opinion. But nonetheless, this was a great WrestleMania. I can't wait for night two, but this was awesome. Um, this has been the Kid DC Wrestling. Subscribe, like, favorite, comment, and so on. Yeah.